Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. Now, welcome to this new week. Now, I know this is the Holy Week, praise God, because this Friday is Good Friday. Yesterday was Palm Sunday, and I just want to bless God for all the believers out there who believe in Jesus Christ, that he died and rose again. Now, that's what this week is all about. Jesus came into this world. He died and he rose again again and that's the best part of it but you see a lot of people don't still understand now when i say a lot of people i'm talking particularly about believers a lot of people don't still understand why jesus came why he died why he rose from the dead they don't know now that's why there's so much panic even at this this period and and everything going on around the world lots of believers are even confused you know, I've been receiving several questions, you know, about end times, about the rapture. And this week, I'm going to be taking time to address some of those very vital things. And I'll tell you why. See, we as God's children, our attitude towards the season is not supposed to be the same attitude with the world. See, we as God's children, you know, I told you last week, I said there are, as a child of God, there are things I concern myself about. There are things I don't bother myself about. I just know them for knowledge's sake. But I don't know them to teach them. I don't want to even teach them. Praise God. You know, talk about things about the end time. You know, you know, lately it's been all one conspiracy theory or the other. Let me tell you this truth. As a child of God, the only reason it's, it's important to be aware of some of these things is for you to pray. But now when your knowledge begins to cause fear in your heart, you need to separate yourself from that knowledge. I'm telling you the truth. Anything that will not work faith in you right now, stay away from it. Now it doesn't matter what conspiracy that the world is planning or whoever is planning or Satan himself is planning. Let me tell you this truth. At the end of it, we will be on top. There is something you need to understand about God. And I think I told you sometime last week about this. In God's perfect plan, Satan has a role to play. And when God has given Satan his role to play, there is nothing you can do about it. You can pray against it. You pray your prayer will just seem like it's not being heard or it's not being answered. Because he must carry out the instruction that he has, the command that he has received from the Lord. You see what are you talking about? God is still sending Satan. Yes! Oh, you don't know? Read your Bible. The sons of God gathered in scriptures and Satan showed up also. Did you hear God tell uh, Angel Michael to cast it, Satan out? No. He asked him, where are you coming from? And he began to explain. And God said, okay, I have an assignment for you. Have you considered my servant Job? And God wanted to do something in Job's life. Not something bad like you think. No, something good in Job's life. There is something God wanted to do in Job's life. And he's been communicating with Job concerning it. But Job was not willing to submit himself for God to do what he wanted to do. So because God is faithful and Job had worked perfectly before the Lord, he had to receive from God what God had planned for him. And what was that? The end of Job's life was what, was what God was planning to give to him. But he needed Satan to take out everything. Now if Job had obeyed the Lord, to do everything that the Lord commanded him to do, then Satan wouldn't have been needed. See? Now, many times, when God brings Satan into the equation, it's because of disobedience. When we disobey God, when we don't walk, meanwhile, he loves us. See? He loves us so much. But we, we are not willing to, to, to walk with him perfectly. And he knows what to do. That's why sometimes, you see, Satan, he gives Satan authority over the saints. You read that in the book of Revelation. God knows what he's doing. But let me tell you this truth. At the end of the day, Satan cannot ride over us. It's impossible. Because whatever God tells Satan to do, he gives him the boundary. And there are angels marking those boundaries. He cannot cross one inch across that boundary. He can't. Believe me, I'm telling you the truth. Praise God. This week, we're going to be looking at some very important truths that you need to know, especially now. Let me tell you this truth. Whether you believe it or you don't believe it, 
Jesus is coming back. He came before. Now that's why we're celebrating Easter this week. He came before and he said he is coming again. Except you don't believe anything that he has said. If you don't believe anything he has said, well done for you. But you see, we are believers in Jesus Christ and we believe him. And he said he is coming back. So we believe he is coming back. And he told us, you know, that's the amazing thing. He told us certain things to look out for. We are not looking towards the end of the world. We are looking at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now that's the one we've been waiting for all this while we're walking in him, walking in his righteousness. He, he's the one we're looking out for. Praise God. And that's very important to the Christian. That's important to the believer. We are waiting for the Lord because he is coming. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to share with you a lot of misconceptions about the rapture. And then I'll show you the truth concerning the rapture. Praise God. It's going to be a great week, I tell you. Don't be afraid. Take everything that brings fear away from you. You don't need it. This is the time to open your scriptures and begin to look for yourself, not what your pastor has taught you, not what someone have, you've read in a book sometime. Take your Bible right now and say, Holy Spirit, I need understanding of the seasons. Can you show me the truth concerning this season? And he will. Praise God. I'm a tuba judge until tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.